What's up guys, Dr. Tyler Pollock here at The Performance Project. Today I'm gonna to be going over another one of my favorite um, knee exercises that I like to do when training the hips, how to engage a little bit better to take away some of our knee pain and also from just an injury risk reduction standpoint. So today what we're gonna be covering is a reverse lunge with some banded resistance added to that lunge, okay? And we're gonna do, um, so I'm gonna show you some variations that we can also include with this to make it a little bit more difficult for you, okay? So let's jump to it. What you're gonna need is something to attach a band onto, okay? So I've got the rig right here, and then I've got a light band, okay? I'm gonna take this band and I'm gonna step through, okay? I'm gonna step away from the rig so that I've got some good tension on this band here, okay? This band is gonna try and drive my knee inward. I wanna fight against that. I wanna try and drive my knee out and keep it over my toes, okay? I wanna keep that um, in line with my, with my foot there, okay? Now, starting with a slightly knee bent position, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move back into that reverse lunge position, okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna drop down. Now, I don't want my back leg to touch, but it's gonna go down into that lunge position and then back up, okay? So we're gonna go down, back up, all right? Make sure to finish nice and tall there. Now, if that's too easy for you. What I like to do then is come down in this position. We can just add a hold. Add that isometric hold. Let that band try and tension you in that way, okay? If that is still too easy for you. Then I recommend we add in an oscillation. So we're going to come down in this position and we're going to drive our knee out into small oscillations in and out. About three to five reps on that. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to encourage me to use that glute on the outside here to really control the knee, okay? When you're moving your knee in and out in those oscillations, try not to let your knee move beyond midline with that, okay? Keep that knee um, staying right over those, the center of the foot, drive it out, allow it to come back in. Everything is controlled in that position. Really try not to flail about as much uh, as, you, as you possibly can with that, okay? Um, somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to 10 reps is really good. You'll get a really good burn in your quads. Also should be feeling your glutes kicking on on this outside portion of that hip, okay? Let me know what you guys think.